Hello, you beautiful people. This is Spelias, your lost lifestyle coach. Uh, I want to talk to you about uh, cliches and uh, like things that are self-fulfilling prophecies. Like we would say that Monday is a bad day, it's a hard day, it's a boring day, it's the worst day of the week. Guess what? It is. Right. It is true. Monday is the worst day of the week. It is hard. It is boring. Because we have decided that it is the worst day of the week. It is the boring, it is the hell of everything. We have so many cliches like the Mondays that are fulfilling prophecies. And we need to change our mind, change our mindset regarding these cliches. And we have so many things, personal th habits and everything, that you're saying, no, I can't do it, I'm not worth it, Monday is hard, it's hard to wake up, it is hard to do it, no, I can't start an online business, I can't be successful, I can't be this, cliche, 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 again, 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 and we are programming our mind with these cliches that will determine the outcome of our lives. It is a self-fulfilling prophecy that we are creating ourselves every single day. And uh, like with society in whole, there is a cliches for the society in whole. It is uh, like a social programming that we follow, that are, is created and we listen to it and we make it a reality. Uh, like when we are studying something, many people say that it is very difficult to learn it. You know, if we believe it is very difficult to learn it, it is very difficult to learn it. I promise you, it is gonna be real headbuster learning it. But when people say that it is very easy learning it, and we believe it, it is gonna be easy learning it. But if we change our mind, change our beliefs, and people say, it is very hard learning this subject. And we say, really? Nah, that's just nonsense. It is not difficult. It is going to be so easy to learn it. It is going to be a child's play learning it. When we go into the studies with that mindset, hey, guess what? It is going to be easy. Well, maybe not going to be easy, but it's going to be easier. And uh, when we follow these cliches that are saying that life is hard, that things are hard, that it is difficult. When people have told you that you're not worth it and you believe it, guess what? You're not worth it. And like saying that you're not worthy is a cliche. It is nonsense. It is so out of context. context. It is not real. The only thing that is real is if we believe it and make it a reality. So if somebody says to you, you're not worth it, well, you, just, you should think for yourself. No, do not take their word for it. Think for yourself and say, well, what is it that says that I'm not worth it? What is it that says that I'm not worth being happy? What says that I'm not worth being successful? What says I'm not worthy being whatever I want to be? Then think, okay, I may have said or done something in the past, but the past is gone. We're not the same people as we were in the past. We have changed, we have evolved, we have grown, we have grown stronger and hopefully wiser. And that, and today's think, maybe I was not worth it. Maybe it was true at the time they said it, maybe uh, a few years ago or something. But today, I've changed. And why should, not, should I not be worth it today? And why should I not give it a try today? Why should I not put effort into it today to make it become a reality that I'm worth being happy or successful or whatever I want in my life and whatever I want to be? So 
Take away the cliché that we are not worth it. Take away the cliché that we, Monday is bad. Because uh, when we decide that Monday is bad, it's going to be bad. But if we, like for me, Monday was bad. It was terrible. But then I decided, what's wrong with Monday? Why is Monday any worse than any other day? Okay, uh, they say that Monday is the worst day because we have had the week and can relax and the weekend is short. We want more time and it's Monday, we have to start work again. But why do we hate going to work? Well, that's probably because we don't like the work we are doing. And that has nothing to do with Monday, that has to do with the work. So let's not judge Monday for being bad. So let's take a look at our job situation. If we don't like going to work again, then we obviously don't like the work we are doing. So we have to think, if I don't like the work I'm doing on Monday, then I'm probably not going to like it on Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. So that's five days, five days of the week that you're there in a work you don't like. You may be working eight hours a day for five days a week that you're unhappy doing things you don't like. That's a uh, cliché, big cliché, because we have a saying about it. We can change it. Like we say, Monday is bad, it's a cliché, we can change our mindset. If you don't like our job, okay, it's a cliché, but we can change it. How can we change how we feel about our job? Well. Maybe there are aspects of our job that we don't like. Maybe some co-workers, some aspects of it that we don't like. But maybe there are some things that we do like. Then we need to stop, fo stop focusing on the things we don't like about the job. And start focusing on th things we like about our job. And uh, if we cannot do that, then we have to find some alternative to the job we are doing. That we don't like. So we need to uh, find a different job or create our own job, an online business, a home-based business or start our own company or do whatever else we want. Because when we are loving what we do, Monday is a great day as well. It is a perfect day because, uh, like for me, I'm working for myself, got my own business, working online, I'm coaching, I got my own course there. And for me, uh, there's no weekend actually, because I don't like weekends so much, because I love working weekends as well, so the weekend is a working day for me as well. And, uh, and I can take days off when I'm tired, when I feel like it, when I want to do something else. I can day I take off on Mondays, I can take days off on Wednesdays or Thursdays. So for me, weekend is just another day. So there is no Monday there. So hey, Monday is just as good as a day as any, any other day. And when we are not happy with something in our lives, and we are complaining about it, and we are feeling bad about it, we are feeling depressed about it, well, if you are complaining about it, we are repeating the same cliché over and over and over again. We need to stop complaining. We need to, because complaining is a self-fulfilling prophecy. If we say, I am always bullied by these people, I don't like this, I don't like it is. this, I don't like my job, you say it over and over again, I don't like my job. And if you're in an unhappy relationship, I don't like my spouse, I don't like my spouse, I don't like my spouse. Well, you're only making a self-fulfilling prophecy. The more, the more often we say it, the more it becomes a reality and the more it becomes a cliché. And like they say, the first time something happens, something said, it's a tragedy. Like, if I don't like my job, and I say it, I don't like my job, it's a tragedy. But if you say it again and again and again, I don't like my job, and you keep on working there, it's a farce, it's a comedy, it's a just nonsense.
because we are the creators of our lives. We can change and rearrange and transform our lives any time we choose to and want to. But repeating these cliches, these negative cliches, or negative set mindset, or negative thoughts, repeating it over and over and over again, hey, you're creating your own circumstances. You're creating your own life and you're only building up the negativity and the unhappiness, the unworthiness, the un unsuccessfulness in your life. Every time you say something negative about yourself or view things in a negative way. So we need to, let's take Monday again, for example. If you hate Monday, stop saying, ah, it's Monday again. Cool. I'm gonna make this Monday the best Monday of my life so far. If you hate your job and you're going to work, think, it's Monday, I'm gonna make it fun. I'm gonna go to the job I don't like, and I'm gonna do something fun at job. I'm gonna do something creative at, at my job. I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone in my job. I'm gonna learn something new at my job. I'm gonna change my attitude towards my job. I'm going to change my view of life this Monday. I'm going to say, I am feeling so great. I'm perfect. I love Monday. I love my job. I want to, I love my job, but I'm going to try to find some other job or create some other job. Yes, this is going to be a challenge. This is going to be fun. This is going to be challenging. This is going to be exciting. This is going to be, be an adventure. And taking things like that is going to change your life. Change these negative cliches into something positive. And I remom remember, it was, well, 14 years ago. I decided to, because I thought there was always problems. No matter what day it was, every day it was just problems coming. Problems coming. And I was just... Why, 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 why again? Why can't I get a break from these problems? And I realized that there was something wrong with my mind. I hadn't lost my mind, it was somewhere around there. But then I decided to change my mindset. And instead of saying, why, why all these problems? I decided to change my mind, I said, when there came a problem, I started, yes, yes, yes. Finally, it's a problem. Finally, there's something that I can solve this is going to be very exciting to solve this problem, to find the solution for this problem. It's going to be so much fun. And after a little while, with that mindset, I did, did, never had any problems. Just adventures, just having fun, finding solutions to the things that I had to solve. Wow! And I felt so much better. And these negative cliches about these problems were gone. And I felt so much more happier. And uh, it was more, uh, life was easier. Well, it is that like that. We have to accept things in life. We have to know how things are. And we have to realize that we can change the things that are around us. If we are in a bad job that we don't like, we can change it. If you're in a bad relationship, we can change it. If you don't if you don't like our spouse today well think about when you met your spouse did you like them when you met them did you like your spouse when you got into a relationship did you like that his or her personality did you like his or her view of life well if you liked it then why don't you like it now hmm strange and if you liked it then and don't like it now then maybe you've just forgotten that spark. You've forgotten why you like them. And you're just in, in a negative spiral of this everyday living. You've forgotten the love, the passion, the spark in their eyes and the love you feel. Maybe you can change your mind towards how you like them today or don't like them today and rediscover, of course, they have changed. Because they're not the same person as when you met. And you are not the same person as when you met. So grow and find something new 
interesting, lovable about them today. And if that is not possible, hey, you might find somebody else. But first, try to rediscover your spouse today. And rediscover yourself today, because you are not the same person. Maybe your spouse or your the work, everything, is not kind to you because you are not kind to yourself. Maybe you hate your job because you uh, make the self-fulfilling prophecy that you hate your job because you don't feel adequate, uh, adequate enough to do your job. So when you go to your job, say to yourself, I'm going to improve myself. I'm going to improve my skills. I'm going to improve my knowledge sets. I'm going to improve who I am, the person I am today. So maybe the job you are in today that you don't like, maybe you will discover when you improve yourself that you do like it. And then suddenly, the cliche of Monday is, I love Mondays. I love my spouse. I love my work and everything. It is all in here. It is all in our mind. And it's all our creation. Self-fulfilling prophecy. And we are the creators of our lives in every way. Well, my friends, this is Jesper Belial, your luxury lifestyle coach. If you want to know more about me and what I do, you can visit my website at jesus.com and you can also sign up for my online course, The Reevaluation of Our Lives, at wearethecreatorsacademy.com. My friends, take care and good luck with everything you're doing. See you later. Mm -hmm.